Welcome to the installation video of the Go Rhino False Floor and Electronics Tray for the 2013 to current Ford Interceptor Utility. The average installation time is between 45 minutes to 1 hour depending on your level of expertise. Beginning in the cargo area, remove the rear section of cargo floor from the vehicle. Remove the two bolts, one per side, securing the front section of the cargo area floor using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Remove the front section of the cargo area floor from the vehicle. Fold the rear seats forward. Remove the foam insulation located under the front section of the cargo area floor from the vehicle. Remove the four nuts securing the structural reinforcement X-Bray support bracket using a 21 millimeter socket and ratchet. Remove the support bracket and set aside as it will be reinstalled later. Remove the four nuts securing the front of the structural reinforcement X brace using a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. Remove the foam insulation from each side of the spare tire well. Remove the lower tie-down hook from each side of the rear hatch opening. In the cargo area, remove the left and right plastic access covers. Loosen the four bolts two per side, securing the structural reinforcement X-brace using a 15 millimeter socket ratchet. Remove the 1032 button head bolts and washers, securing the false floor cover to the frame. Set the cover aside. Align the holes in the left and right rear brackets with the nut inserts in the rear of the false floor frame and secure each bracket to the frame using the supplied 1032 button head bolts and flat washers. Snug, but do not tighten the bolts. Align the holes in the left and right front brackets with the nut inserts in each side of the false floor frame and secure each bracket to the frame using the supplied 1032 button head bolts and flat washers. Snug but do not tighten the bolts. Place a socket or block between the floor of the vehicle and the structural reinforcement X brace creating a space between the brace mounting flange and the mounting studs. With assistance, place the false floor frame and bracket assembly in the vehicle. Position the lower leg of the rear brackets over the studs and under the x brace Remove the socket or block and reinstall the factory nuts. Do not tighten the nuts.
Align the hole in each front bracket with the tied down attachment hole and secure each bracket using the supplied number 14 hex washer head screw and flat washer. Position the base of the front brackets against the floor of the vehicle. Use the holes in the base of the brackets as a guide and drill 5 16 holes to the floor of the vehicle. Secure each bracket to the floor of the vehicle using the supplied quarter inch hex bolts, flat washers, and serrated hex nuts. Remember to seal all drilled holes with silicone or RTV silicone sealant material. Reinstall the structural reinforcement x brace support bracket using the factory bolt. Tighten all factory nuts and bolts securing the structural reinforcement x brace and support bracket to the factory specified torque. Tighten all nuts and bolts securing the front rear brackets to the false floor frame and to the vehicle at the specified torque in the installation instructions. Reinstall the plastic access covers previously removed. With assistance, place the false floor cover assembly on top of the frame. Secure the cover to the frame using the button head bolts and flat washers previously removed. The false floor electronics tray provides an additional storage platform as well as a mounting surface that is retractable for easy access to equipment and wiring systems. This completes the installation of the Go Rhino false floor electronics tray for the 2013 to current Ford Interceptor utility.